Hi, this is Chetan and welcome to CSS Dev and UX. Today we'll create a staggered list animation with CSS inline variables. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's just first look at the basic structure. As you can see in the HTML, it's pretty simple. There's an article, there's a section which has the header, this dream team header. Then there is a list which has all the list items. This is the list item and the list item basically holds this data information of title, description and image. And if you see here, uh, the data is being repeated from somewhere. So uh, for people who identify V4, it's it's for it's a uh, it's a property in Vue.js. We're basically repeating uh, this list and we're fetching the data in Vue.js. In Vue.js in the data, you have a array and that array has objects. So if you can see the information here, it's uh, basically title description image and which we are repeating in the HTML and that corresponds to your image title and description, which is repeated for each of the objects. Okay, cool. So that's for the data and the HTML. Let's look at the CSS basic structure. Um, it's it's a simple list with, a, with no fancy styling. It's just a simple list that uh, uh, for smaller screen goes one below the other for bigger screens can if there is enough size can stack next to each other cool so let's get into the animation part so what we want to do is we want to create an anim we want to define the animation uh, for this list and each of the list item Okay, so what we did here is for each of the list item, we defined this animation called stagger, which lasts for 0.4 seconds with the ease in motion. Uh, and it only repeats once and has an animation delay of zero seconds for now. And uh, the animation stagger itself is defined as starting uh, with, uh, with zero opacity and ending with one opacity. At starting point, we want the initial value to be uh, on the y-axis 80 pixels down from the y-axis and when it ends it falls back to its original spot which you which has that bottom-up animation effect okay so when we refresh it we see all the list items are animating together so what we want is to have a delay in each of the delay in animation for each of the list items so how do we gather that delay so easier way to do that is to create a inline CSS variable and hold the index value of that way of that uh, list item in that variable. So firstly, how to create a inline variable. It's pretty simple in HTML. You can just define a new variable with a with two hyphens and the variable name and then followed by the value. Okay, the value can be one for the first list item, two for the second, third for the third list item. So how do we know uh, which list item has what value? So whenever you're using a view type JS framework, you have an option to gather the index number of the data. So basically the, the first object in the array should have the index of one. The second object should have index of two. Okay, so all you need to do is gather this information and put it in the CSS variable that you've just created. So to do that in view, it's pretty simple. You can just uh, make this a binded value and inside of which there is some text string, which is basically this order followed by instead of three, we replace it with the actual index of each of the item. So the first one will be one, second one will be two, third one will be three. Okay, and then we end it again by adding a semicolon to complete that CSS variable. So it's basically order, your dynamic index number and closing semicolon. Okay, so now we have this CSS variable holding the index number of each of the list item. Now what we want to do is use that series CSS variable in the animation delay. So back in the CSS, we have the animation delay as zero. 
so we want this to be dynamic as well so we can do a calculation here by saying take the variable which is basically named order and multiply it by 0 0.1 second so for the first list item this would be 1 into 0 0.1 second for the second one would be 2 into 0 0.1 second and for the let's say for so on and so forth and the last one would be like 14 into 0 0.1 second and since the rest of the animation is already defined if we save it and refresh it let's see the result ah nice so you see the staggered animation effect as well now if we if i make the screen a little bigger and have two on the side and now refresh this entire thing you can see a nice staggered animation So to recap, what we did is that we defined the animation for each of the list item and then we added an animation delay uh, by calculating the index value of each of the item, which is basically this is first, this is second, this is third, this is fourth, multiplied by 0 0.1 seconds. So how do we get that index value is in Vue.js we are already fetching the data for each of the list item. We are also fetching the index value of the object. Use that index value by creating an inline CSS variable called order and we add that index value inside that CSS variable. Back in the CSS, what we did is uh, in the animation delay, we then used a calculation to figure out the value from the CSS variable order. So this for the first list item, this would be one for the 15th list item. This would be 15 multiply it by 0 0.1 second. And if I want to even uh, increase the pace of this animation, reduce this a bit more. And yep, this is even nicer. That's it. It's very simple. So I hope that you found this video helpful and this trick can help you in uh, creating a staggered list animation. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Please leave a like on this video if you found this helpful and share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for more such uh, videos on CSS and UX. Thank you.